Hello, my name is StealthGamer2020, and what you were about to see was originally uploaded to my channel, but right now you're about to see it on the Uplay Network channel. Please subscribe to me for more videos like this one, and be sure to check out my other games. What is going on guys, and welcome to For Honor. That is right guys, we are finally here with this game at last. If you're playing both the open and closed beta, I'm so excited to be getting into this guys. I'm going to be doing this walkthrough on a realistic difficulty, playing this on the PC in ultra settings, so really go in that extra mile to give you guys a good walkthrough for this game. Plan on doing a giveaway as well, I will announce the winners over on Twitter. Again, the winners will be announced over on Twitter for the giveaway. If you want to enter that, just leave a like and a comment below. But with that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. With that being said, it's go time. Let's do this. That day I learned that I was serving the wrong warlord. Hervis Dobney. Defend the walls! The day that I met the Blackstone Legion and Holden Cross. Come out! Dobney! It doesn't have to be like this! Keep them off the walls! My lord! Ugh. Break it down! Break it down! But I am a warden. Go! Get in there! I had a job to do. I need to get moving. The Blackstones were coming up the east wall. Alright guys, so here we have our first gameplay really, and uh, all this is is sort of a tutorial to show you guys kind of how this works. Um, basically when you block you have to go up, left, or right, depending on which way the enemy is swinging at you. So if they swing from the right side, you need to block right, if they swing from the left, you need to go left, etc. So it's kind of cool because it adds a whole new layer to the combat, makes it a lot more dynamic, and I think it's really creative of Ubisoft to come up with that. So it's different from some games where it's just a simple button push to counter. Here you actually have to, you know, think about which way they're striking you from, how you can counter that, and it, I think it's a really cool gameplay mechanic that I wish more games would incorporate. So I definitely think that's cool, but uh, that's all you'll have to do to really get past this guy in this gameplay segment here. And as soon as you do the blocking, it'll move on to attacks. There are light attacks and strong attacks. Light attacks uh, consume less stamina and they're faster and then your heavy attacks do more damage but they're slower and they consume a lot of stamina so um, basically you kind of have to decide what's uh what's the best time to use both of them and i like to kind of make a, a good mix between the two but that guy's pretty easy to take down and then you'll have to fight off three waves up in this coming. area up here i needed to hold that wall so first guy is this dude, very easy to take down, he'll constitute the entire first wave. So you can take him out uh, however you want really, pretty easy. And then get over to this ladder because there's going to be guys coming up the ladder and get him with a good ladder shank, as I like to call it. <laughs> but uh, just kind of jump him like a spider monkey as soon as he gets up the ladder. And that's kind of my plan for this next guy as well. Now there's going to be a dude behind me here too. He comes up uh, another ladder off to the side there, so um, just turn as soon as you kill the first guy, and then go at this dude as well. And uh, they're all pretty easy to take down, even on realistic difficulty. I, I didn't find this chapter too difficult. But uh, your buddies will be there, they'll go, uh, go secure that area for you, and then you can continue on to the courtyard. And the courtyard is filled with a bunch of henchmen, per se. They're... A lot of guys that are sort of like meat shields almost for the stronger enemies, they just kind of 
run at you with shields. They can't really deal, you know, any fatal damage or anything. So you can just kind of make your way through them using light strikes to conserve that stamina. Again, that's important because the moment you run out of stamina, you're not going to be able to do, you know, any sort of attacking, at least not well. But uh, you can see they got archers coming at you, which means you need to go take those guys out as well. So we're going to make our way up top here. And there's going to be a guy that shows up. We're going to be fighting him. Uh, my strategy for him is fairly simple. I like to get him with a, uh, a guard break and then go in for a heavy attack. And that seems to be the strategy that works for me on this guy. Just use that guard break on him, get your heavy attack, and keep going. So, um, again, guard break. Heavy attack and good slather and repeat. And that's kind of the drill I like to use for this guy, and that takes him out fairly well. Get those executions because when you do that, you earn back stamina and health if you were missing that before, if any of those were depleted. And then uh, for these guys, they're obviously simple. And then some meat shield dudes right here. I like to call them the meat shield. It's like, they're like the wimps that they hired just to run out there and get killed while the, the real warriors kind of hide behind them. <laughs> you know, I gotta give these guys props though. They're definitely the most, you know, noble. They're, they know that they're gonna die when they go into this. <laughs> but, um, make your way up here. You got the archer with the flaming arrows. Uh, these guys here, you can just sprint past them. Um, I'm going to choose to take a few of them out along my way, just to make things a little bit easier. But I uh, just sprint past them and get up to here. And then uh, that's basically that part right there. That catapult, though, man. <laughs> oh, man. He got him so good with that. Well, so now they're coming through the breach, so you need to get down there and fight him. You get a drop attack on this guy. <laughs> it's totally awesome. Oh, man. He did not see that coming at all. But so get in here, get into the, uh, the combat zone, I guess. Take these guys out as best you can. And then uh, just go nuts. That's basically this whole part right here. You're just jumping down into the action, fighting tons of enemies. Um, if, quick tip. If you hold the... Um, the, the light attack button plus the heavy attack button, depending on which controller you're using, um, if you hold them both at the same time, you can do a clear out attack, which can clear out multiple enemies at one time if you use it properly in the right situation. So that's definitely something you'll, you'll want to use as you go through. And the reason I say it is because they don't tell you about it until like a few chapters ahead of this one. But of course, I played a little bit ahead after this, and uh, I found out. So I came back and then redid this chapter with some of the knowledge that I had gained, and um, that was kind of the result. You can see I just did it right there. But uh, it's definitely a good thing to utilize. But uh, man, the one thing I just, the one thing I struggle with the most in this game is keeping my stamina up. Uh, I get tired easily, you know, like I just, I go nuts and then my, my energy gets depleted. It's like, I wish I could take like a five hour energy, you know, like fuel up for battle with like a Red Bull or something. Red Bull the Battle Edition. <laughs> These warriors don't have to die. Trial by combat. Right now. What? Fight you? That's not a trial. That's an execution. Then fight my second. You! You will be my second. All right, then. If I refused, there would be a slaughter.
Alright, so here we have a duel. Uh, my strategy for this guy basically is kind of similar to that dude that we fought earlier in this video. It's going to be block and then break his defense and then go in for two heavy strikes. Again, block, you can do a light strike in there and then go in for the, the heavy attacks. But uh, it's all about using that defense break. I think that's the best thing you can do in this game personally uh, to get enemies off balance and he get those good too. heavy attacks. You can see I just got three of them there. There's another fourth and a fifth in a row. And a six, seven. You know, just by using that defense break. Of course, the heavy attacks do deplete your stamina, so you do have to sort of back off, let yourself recharge a little bit, do some defending. And playing on the defensive side is a tougher than the offensive side. But not for double. Just because you can take damage. And uh, crap, I better watch myself here. He's kind of you know, bringing my health down a little bit. That's just playing on realistic, man. Like, your health is so much less than what it would be on the uh, easy, normal, and hard difficulty setting. So if anybody's playing this game on, like, normal mode, I guarantee you this walkthrough will be more than enough to help you get through it. But I think I got him. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> Execution time. ka -ching. Nice. And that is how it's done, guys. Like a glove. Smooth as butter. We were still at their mercy. It will not do for a knight of the Blackstone Legion to be defeated by a common mercenary. Kneel. For valor in battle, for honor and service, I, Holden Cross, raise you. Stand, Knight of the Blackstone Legion. We're finished here. Come on. That was how I joined the Blackstone Legion.